Okay, so in this video, we're gonna take our meeting notes and we're gonna send them over to um, uh, Excel spreadsheet so that we can do that on a daily basis, which will then help us to be able to take that information and put it into a timesheet. So uh, this is a bigger series that I'm doing around sort of like logging your time with AI. Um, and the primary goal for this is that if you're a employee or you're a consultant like myself and you're trying to figure out how to be more effective with logging your time. One of the things that I personally hate is the fact that it just takes an enormous amount of effort in order to log your time. And so with that, I wanna actually speed up that process. So let me just show you what I mean by log time so you can understand um, just a little bit of context. So I have here a client that I normally do work for, and this is a, con uh, a company where um, I normally log time in their platform. So they normally use a tool called Pro Time Tracker and it has a really cool feature. It has a little scheduler thing here that you could just kind of come in and choose which, what are you working on marketing or whatever it is. And then from there, you could just log the time. The problem is, is that I just don't do it consistently. So um, I'm supposed to be putting in my hours for the last few weeks or whatever, just haven't necessarily done it, right? I think, um, not because I don't necessarily, for example, this is a good example, because I, I was really diligent about it up until the end of the month. And that's because I was off of it for the last two months. So I'm just not consistent with it. And so what the goal is, is the goal is to be able to take the information from my read AI based on meetings and things that I've worked on, specifically obviously for that company, and then take that information and funnel it into my time log system. Uh, in addition to that, um, I'm gonna use a tool called Rescue Time, and that normally tracks sort of how many hours I work during a particular week it tracks all of the software all of the details etc so the goal is I'm going to combine the information between the read AI tool and the time tracking tool and then we're going to send that information into um, an Excel spreadsheet as sort of like a middle ground and then from there we're going to figure out how to get it into the time tracking software so hopefully that's giving you some 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 context um, Again, if you need more context, go back and watch my first video since this is part two of that. And But this is just the diagram, the initial diagram that I wrote, which is basically, so you have Zoom, which we're gonna do our meetings on, or Teams, or any pick your meeting choice. That's gonna take that summary of that meeting. It's gonna send it to Read AI. Read AI is going to give you a summary of that. Uh, then we have the time tracker that's tracking your average computer time on a regular basis, right? So it's gonna track your computer time. And that's also going to be logged inside. So we're going to take both of that information. We're going to send it into an Excel spreadsheet, right? So sheets. Okay. Once we have it like that, we're going to keep track of the current, the client or the topic. We're going to treat up to the date. We're going to take a summary of all this thing, and then we'll try to extract any task in addition to the time spent, right? So we could say one hour, two hours, three hours, etc. Um, and we're gonna try to do that on a daily basis, right? And the case of read AI is gonna happen on every, it's gonna log after every meeting. And from there, we should be able to filter on this and we'll be able to see all of the time that was logged for a specific client, etc. And then from there, we'll be able to put that information in our, um, in our software. By the way, if you hear my son screaming at the back here, it's just because he's playing and uh, he's just making a little bit of noise, so hopefully that's not being picked up on the on the camera. Um, and with that, let's just jump right in there. So we're gonna do a little bit of coding in this particular video, but this is just hopefully the level set so you understand what the uh, what the goal is. Um, so we'll start with the read AI. We're gonna start with the read AI. But one of the problems that I have with read AI is the fact that read AI only has. Um, so if you log into read AI, you come down here and you come over to apps integration you can see it has multiple different types of integration one of them being zapier and the other one being a custom web hook so here's the problem the problem is is that with the web hook it's only triggering after a certain meeting so in other words you won't be able to go back in time and get that uh, get the, that details you'll have to just work forward Maybe you could log in and scrape the website, which I actually did a video on a while back ago. You could check the channel for that. But for the most part, you know, you don't want to break their terms and conditions. So the way that they have it right now is that you need to use a webhook in order to 
uh, get that detail. So we're going to start with that just by creating the webhook so we can extract the information that's coming to us and then we'll see what information is going there. So first of all, we're going to use make.com for this um, just to kind of keep things simple at least on the start and we'll add some more complexity onto it but the goal is to make, make that calm. So I will use, you know what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my other account. I'm going to use my Dwayne Unfinished account because I want to um, just kind of keep this clean. Also the AC is running so it might be a little bit more his song in the mic. Hopefully you guys are not hearing that but just an FYI because I'm not doing any editing on these videos. Okay so let's create a new scenario. And what is the scenario? What we basically want is we want a direct web hook. In other words, we want the data from Read AI as soon as the meeting is finished to just send data into this platform. So we're going to take a webhook and it's going to be a custom webhook that triggers instantly. And we're going to create a new webhook. We're going to call it Read AI Summary. And we click and save. That's it. That's our webhook. So now we have a URL. I'm going to copy the address to clipboard. And that URL, we're going to take that. We're going to go over to Read AI. We're going to create a brand new webhook. We're going to say meeting summary. Let's call it timesheet summary. Okay. And we're going to trigger that. All right. So first things first, let's just make sure that this part is working. So it's penned in here. I don't know why it's penned in. Let's see. I think it takes a little time to activate, if I remember correctly. So this might take a little time. They're a little bit slow on their API implementation here. But let's see if we could send a test. Send it successfully. Okay. So while that's thing in, let's go across here and see if we got a request successfully determined uh, let's click OK let's um, let's run this so right now it's basically saved and it's kind of running waiting for a request so what we're gonna do is gonna go back in here and then sorry I keep dragging myself around let's send the test come back over here so therefore we got one test and now we got the full details of what's coming out from Read AI. So here we got the transcripts, speakers, array speaker one, speaker two, participant two, uh, owner. So this is the full Read AI key questions, action items. So these are the action items, action item one, action item two, etc. So we might have to iterate through this part. Okay, so that's great. So let's go make our Excel spreadsheet. So I got a brand new spreadsheet here. We're going to call it timesheet log. All right, make a notes. Timesheet daily log. Okay. So on that, we're going to we're going to separate the meetings from the thing. So we're going to rename this and let's call this meetings. And then we're gonna duplicate this after I set it up for the log part of it. Because we wanna, basically what the goal is, we wanna kinda keep these separate, at least on the initial data coming in. So we said client slash topic, date. Let's call it, um, so let's call it topic, and then we could just keep it more generic. So topic, date, summary. So let's call it topic, date. date uh, let's go with date and time start date and time date time and then time spent so that's like one hour two hour three hour etc uh, then we're gonna go with summary and then tasks let's go with let's go with action items IT yes. okay action items so those are the action items that came out of the meeting. So those are the, that's the information that we want to put into our Excel. Okay. 
So with that, let's just see if we can get some of this detail. So we're going to do a new add a module. We want to extract this JSON into something. So we're going to parse JSON. Choose a data structure. So add. We're going to add a new data structure. We're going to call it read AI. And we're going to click generate. Oops, no. I think what we'll do is we could do um, we save it. So we have to add a specification. But the problem is we actually don't. So how can I get this? I don't. Let me see how to. Let me see if I can do generate. And then I need to put the sample data here. The problem is I don't have that. So I can't save this right this minute. But I think if I come back here. Let me see, is there a way to copy the actual, uh, so I think I have to go into the logs maybe, let's just see, so, tools, uh, how do I see the logs, what I'd like to do basically is I'd like to, I don't even know why we have to parse the JSON. You know what? We're gonna let's remove this step. Let's remove this step. We're not gonna parse the JSON. We're just going to pull it right into Google Sheets. So we're gonna add a sheet. Right. Add a new sheet. No, we're gonna list items in a sheet. We're going to add a row to a sheet, and we're going to say, "Do it on finish." Sure. So select path, so my drive, and then choose a file, and then time log sheet daily logs. Okay, we're going to put it into meetings. Table contains headers, yes. So topics, what is the topic? The topic is, uh, I'll see the pick the ones that uh, title, so meeting title. So that's that. Then we're going to put the date and time, which is the start time is what we care about. Or you know what? I think we actually need both. We need the, both the start time and the end time. So I'll come back to this in a sec. So time spent. Let's see if they have anything that gives a total time spent. Transcript. OK, so, end so no, we only have start and end time. OK, so that's fine. So summary, we're going to put in the summary here, and then action items, which are these guys here, which is an array of items. So let's see action items, and let's save that. So let's run that and see what happens first. Run once, go back over here. Click on send. Went over, went over, come back in here. Perfect. Okay, so we got most of the information coming in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this to start date. And then we're gonna change this and we're gonna add another column to the left. And end date and then total time. Right, so that's that. Meet in summary will go here and this action items is a collection so we need to kind of loop through it. So we might have to do a little bit more upfront work between the action items and the task. But let's, uh, let's click on OK. Let's go back here. Let's see if we can refresh this. All right, then we're going to put the end date and we're going to make the action items. So the action items need to be an array that we need to extract the information from. So how do we do that? So let's, uh, let's add another item, add a module. The module will be 
don't think we're going to array. So array aggregator, I think. And from this webhook, what we're looking for is action items. So it's going to take custom data structure, action item names. Show it fans, what do we have? Yeah, okay, that's fine. So let's see if that works. I actually don't know if that's going to work, but we'll try it and see. And then let's just take the action items here. And we don't want the webhook anymore. We want the array aggregator. Okay, so maybe we have to run this, maybe. Let's find out. So run once. Go back over here, click on send. Come back over here. We got this. I think I could, um, I think I should give this a name. Okay, so let's just see. So title, summary, action item. So to get rid of this action item here, and then this is the array aggregator. So this is the array and then text. So I think that's it. So let's try that. So click OK. Run it again. Go back to our read AI. Click on send. That went through. Action item one. Uh, no, what happened here? Okay, let's do that this row. And then go back over here. Move this over. And let's just try that again. So send meeting items. Oops, now run. Use external. So okay, we're doing that again just one more time just so I can see what's gonna send requests send it over so one 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 let's go across here oh weird action item one action item one so somehow it locked oh right because the fields were deleted so this is now okay so let me just, so it seems like I can, this is what's a little strange about how this tool works. Um, I can't get to the previous, <coughs> excuse me, I can't get to the previous step. So I'm actually trying to get the data from here, but I can't get to that because I have to do some sort of, uh, it's annoying. But, but, you know, I, again, I'm, I'm accustomed more to the Azure way of doing this. So this, this, feels a little awkward in my brain, but basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the data from this webhook, but because I've added this aggregator and the intermediate, I'm not able to get to it, or at least I don't know how to do it. So that's the problem right now, right? You see what I mean? So this is, see here? So it's not showing me any of those properties here, but really and truly what I'm trying to do is get to this. So I think I need to get some sort of um, something that's gonna kind of consolidate that information first which I think is what right so somewhere in between here I think that not a router sorry delete. Um, I need to be able to parse the JSON but I, but in order to parse the JSON I need the actual JSON so let's see can I just drop that Okay, might have to pause and kind of figure, read some documentation, then figure this out and get back to this.